Today I'm going to show you how to create a resume template in Canva totally free. You can fully customize it. They have beautiful, beautiful templates that you can choose from. So I'm going to walk you through all the steps on how to create a template for your resume in Canva. First thing we're going to do from the home screen is this question box here where you can search for your content or Canva. I'm just going to type in resume, hit enter. And then it's going to have all of these templates here. So there are thousands and thousands of templates that people have created that you can use these templates. Now, if you have a pro account, then you can use any of these templates. So any of these with the little crown symbol, that means that this is only for pro. If you don't have a pro account, then just make sure you select one that does not have a crown on it. Or if you want to upgrade to pro, you can do that as well. I do have a link down below in the description box. So like I said, there's all these different templates and they are fully customizable, but this is a great starting place. So I really like, let's scroll through this. This one's really cool here. And you can see the, the layout here. I like that it has the photo, but even if there's one that doesn't have a photo that you like, then we can add a photo as well. This one is great as well. So let's select this one. So this is what it looks like. And then we can go customize this template. Now you can have it printed through Canva. I've never done this. I'll show you how we download it and you can have it printed that way. But this is just a great starting point here. So now we can go ahead and edit this. Now that is the first way to go about this. I want to show you another way as well. I'm going to open up Canva in another tab. Okay, so back to the home screen. Another way that you can do this is just open up a letter size. And so we're going to go US letter, so eight and a half by 11. And it's just going to open up a blank page for you. And then you can go over here on the left hand panel where it says design and you can search templates here. So then here you can type in resume or CV and then it's gonna have a bunch of options here as well and you can search for them. And the same thing, if it's pro, it's gonna have a crown and then if it's one that doesn't need pro, then it's gonna be like this with no crown in the bottom right. So you can scroll through these and see if there's anything that you like. I like this one a lot here and there's two pages on this. You can apply just one page or both so we can do apply pages and there it is. And then we can scroll down here to zoom in a little bit, but this is the option here. So let's play off this one. This one is great here. And first thing that I'm going to do is I don't like the background of this. I don't like the, the color. Um, I want it just to be white. So I'm just going to click the background and it has this kind of like, it's kind of hard to see, but a little bit of a tan color and I'm just going to change that to white. Now we can keep this here. I don't mind that bar there. I think it definitely does elevate it a little bit. So we can keep that there. Um, and then let's change out this picture here. So this is a frame that they have. So we can add and upload a photo. So I'm just going to take this and drag it in. And then if we want, we can even edit this and adjust the pictures and we can even make it black and white if we want to go with that look too we can bring down the saturation and then we can play around with the brightness a little bit and the contrast so if you want to do something black and white you can as well i probably wouldn't do black and white with this color panel i'll probably have it white like this um, or if you want to just do the normal color you can do that as well um, and we can bring back the edit the image and we can bring back the saturation if we want to have the color in there. So that is an option as well. Another thing that I like to do is play around with the guides and the position. Like this looks like the margins are a little bit too big for me. I don't like them that wide. I feel like it's a little bit too squished. So what I'm going to do is go to file and then settings and then show rulers and guides. And one thing that's cool about this is see where you have this hover over the, um, the ruler there. You can click that and drag it. So I can click it here and then I can drag this and then that's going to stay there. So then I can take all of these and drag them down and then I can move that right up to it. So that way it is everything is in line and I can bring the picture over as well. I like that and then I can do the same thing. I'm going to grab it and then I can do the same thing on this side here. And then we can take everything here and bring it all over. Perfect. Okay, 
So we can do that. And then we can also extend different things. So we can play around with it. And then this is, like I said, just a template. So it puts in totally different language. I think it's Latin, but you can update all of your information here. You can put in your contact, all the information, write a little blurb about me or copy and paste. You can add in your expertise, your education, your languages, all the information that you need. Now, then this has a cover letter as well. Now, say you wanted to do two different pages, like you had more information than just the, the first one and you wanted to have the same format, you can just hit duplicate page and then you can edit this if you wanted to do the different sections or whatever it may be. And then if you wanted to, you can also bold these so we can bold them all uh, just makes it stand out a little bit better you can also change the font colors so if we wanted to we can highlight everything and then we can change to like more of a gray or a black font we can also change multiple fonts here so you can definitely play around with it if you want to you can also adjust the size by making it a little bit bigger or if we wanted to just go straight to 12 we can do that as well so there's so much that you can play around then you can use the arrow keys to move them up or down but this is totally customizable now if you wanted to take away a box just highlight it and then you can just hit the delete and then it's going to delete it for you or you can delete multiple highlight them all and then just hit delete or if you want you can highlight them and hit group and then that way they're all going to stay together and you can move them around if you wanted to do two that are like this, you can highlight them and then you can copy and paste. Or we can also hit this little button here that is a duplicate and that's gonna duplicate them as well. Then I love how it has this where you can see 0 0.406. It's gonna tell you if there's distances that are similar so that way you can keep it uniform. So that is a great way to play off of it. And then it also, you can see where it's lining up and showing me the guides as well. This is a great way to make sure that everything is perfectly lined up for you. And like I said, this is totally, totally customizable. We can also adjust the picture, make it bigger, make it smaller. We can do so many different things with it. Okay, let's look at this one and see what we can do for this one here. So, and then down here we can zoom in. Here, say we wanted to link, maybe you had like social media or something like that. Maybe this was more of like a media kit and or you wanted to link a website. So say this was a website. So let's do freedominabudget.com. That's my website. And then what I can do is just grab the website link. Okay, so I just copied it here, click on the, the text box. Then I can hit those little dots and then go link and then it's gonna link freedomandbudge.com and hit done. Then I can also do it, say this house, I wanted to link this as well. I can do the same exact thing, freedomandbudge.com. So now when this is a PDF and printed out, then if someone just clicks on it, it's going to link it right there. It also will automatically make it an underline, so you can adjust it if you want. If you don't want it underlined, you don't have to. I personally like it underlined and then I typically like to do like a blue just because that's usually what hyperlinks are. So you can do that as well. And then let's see what else. So this we can, this is just a box here. We can play with that. We can make it bigger or smaller, but I think it looks great there. We can adjust all of this. This is looking pretty small. This is only 8.3. So say we want it bigger, we can do that. Um, Another thing that we can also do is this is all left aligned. We can also do center, we can do right aligned, or we can make it so that way each line takes up the whole, the whole box. So that way sometimes the words are going to be spaced a little bit differently. So that's an option as well. I personally like just left aligned, but there's so much that you can do with this here. Now, say we want to save this. We're ready to go. We're happy with it. We're just going to go share and then download, and then we're going to do PDF. I like to do standard because it's gonna make it a little bit smaller. If you're attaching it in an email, then you're gonna to wanna to do PDF standard because it's a smaller size for emailing. But if you're wanting to print it, maybe put it on some nice paper, then you wanna do PDF for printing. So we're gonna do PDF for standard and then hit download. 
and it's just going to go to the downloads folder on your computer. And then, like as you can see here, titled Grace Simple Clean, whatever this title is here, that's what it's going to name the file. So in your downloads, you can change it. So if we wanted to, I could do Kelly Ann Smith resume template, or I could also change it here. So I could do Kelly Ann Smith resume. And then when I download it, let me show you again. So let's download this one as PDF for printing. So then we have it. Now it's automatically going to be titled that. You can see that here. Okay, and then if we click on it here, bring it up. And then over here, you can see that these are hyperlinks. So freedomvegetable.com, click that, and it's going to open up to the website. And then if we click on this little house that we hyperlinked, it's going to go to the website as well. And then this is what it looks like. Let me get rid of this. So this is the PDF, which is awesome. And then you can just drag it, drop it into an email or print it, whatever it is, but it's a PDF for you to use. If you wanna see my top revenue streams of how I make money online, check out this video here. And if you wanna see digital downloads that you can sell from Canva that you can make and then sell on Etsy, check out this video here.